Oh, this is not a spring chicken. You know, it started off as a bad day when old Cam wakes up with the website only had six viewers. Okay, maybe that was one website, but you know, it was a little bit long. And he goes to Facebook in. His grammar gets corrected on Facebook. <laughs> oh, maybe that's not a laughing matter. Okay, it's a grumpy matter. But on a brighter side, we'll bring old Cam on with comments on the new headlines of today. And what am I doing? I'm sitting there pushing the button on our live stream to make certain that the, what we're loading doesn't go off before we really get a good connection. But that's what happens when you have a touch screen. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it will go off on you. We're trying to upload right now. And President did veto all Republican bills that are attacks on women. Oh, yeah. Everything is an attack on women. They said what the funny part about it is that his his attack on women thing isn't working because it's driving everyone but the college but the young girls away from their Democratic Party and if you know it does okay here's the way it works is Republican women will not vote for um, for um, for Romney because they don't like Romney personally they don't like mm -hmm. his stances but if the Democratic women the same age group of Democratic women do not vote for the Democrats they're going to get their butts kicked and they're blaming it on Obama you don't see the rank and file of the Democratic Party, this is a Republican war on women because it's not effective. It's got awful bad. Mm. And, and Romney had health health scare before Super Tuesday. I know. Uh, and the fact that they hid that, well, the, they were the, we all know that she doesn't have any real problems and that they're just trying to say this. Well, everybody knows she's had cancer and she's got, I, I hate to tell you this, folks, multiple sclerosis doesn't go away. It's there forever. Why, they thought it went away? Yeah, you know, no, they said that she just, uh, you know, she doesn't have any problems. Just look at her. Well, it go. It does not go. She will eventually die from the problems she has. I mean, you're a person that knows that you may not see the last of your children grow up and, and, and live or see more grandchildren. So, yeah, so that's, the, that's the way it works. And the Democrats basically, they're, they said that they have been... Um, the party leaders have said, stop it, stop, stop, stop it. Unfortunately, Obama's pushed it too far, and uh, his minions are on the attack continually, and they're having, the party leadership is having to scold all of these people working for the Obama campaign, saying, shut up. Mm -hmm. It's just like, okay, Chris Matthews is basically, he's about as left-wing as they come, but in, you know, you just go back to Chris Matthews at the election last year when he told Obama, just take the advice from the press. Go off somewhere for six months, don't say another word, and you'll win the presidency. Mm -hmm. And that he can't, uh, you know, um, I love it right now. They said that he is being laughed at all over the world because he's going on one late night talk show after another doing his singing. Well, the guy does not sing that well. Uh, Bill Clinton was a good saxophonist, but a Barack Obama, well, he's the coolest American president ever. And they're laughing at him, and they're... Republicans are building campaigns based upon what the rest of the world is saying about. They said that Vladimir Putin went out and tried to sing once. He tried to be cool with a Frank Sinatra song in front of party regulars. And, then what and that went viral, and he has never done that again. I know. Because it's stupid, unless you can really sing. You know, okay, John Ashcroft was a member of a professional singing group along with some of the senators in the Republican Party. When they sang, they were pros. But when Obama sings... It's like a guy that's in a bathroom trying to, well, I'm the President of the United States, so you sure as hell better listen to what I have to sing. Mm. I mean, he's got to turn out, they're, they're, they're joking. They said to French, the French people who don't like him said, you know, I, I assume he's going to be singing Strangers in the Night very soon. Uh, or he's going to say, you know, going to be singing French, French songs, as only Obama could sing the French songs. No Frenchman could ever sing as well as Obama. Mm. And family of missing Arizona girl pleads for her return. And this is always, I mean, I don't, okay, this is always my father. Of course father. you would, wouldn't you be? I know. My father said he really hated it when he had to go as a police officer to get crowd control when the family was calling, remember, back in those days it was newspapers and the radio trying to get people to assist them because it was always a, a circus because they said it, uh, appeal isn't going to work. First of all, the people that want to find the girl are already out finding her. The people that don't want to find her, you're not going to impress. And Salton Sea, is it drying up? Yeah, you, you live in California, it's been drying up for years. 
It's nothing Where new. Where is the Salton Sea? It's, uh, oh, it's that great big thing outside of, uh, of Utah? Palm Springs. Oh, in Palm Springs? That great big water invasion. What happened was the Salton Sea was an area that was created by um, uh, by the Grand Canyon and run off, the farmers run off. The problem is is that what has happened now is that they they diverted the runoff, I think, through Sacramento, and it no longer goes there. So the only water feeding it now is water from the ranches, and the ranches have been told that the farms can't use as much water. So proportionally, it's, 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 you know, basically we've seen it. Whole tourist areas are now gone because there's no way to get their boats into the water anymore. And Burger King makes a cage, cage-free eggs and pork promise. Anybody want to say a bunch of politically correct Obama supporters? Is, is there cage-free pork? They're yeah. not going to have any of that. You cannot have cage, you cannot have roaming chickens. You can't harvest the eggs. They have to be in cages to harvest the eggs. Although you, you have at the organic place bought cage. Food. Yeah, and it costs you a fortune, but you're talking a fast food place. Yeah, fast food place. They you know what that's going to cost this. you? Basically, they said it was a politically, okay, all of these companies are terrified of this president and his wife. They are living in terror, figuring if he gets elected the next term, he will shut down every fast food restaurant in the United States. Because that's, that's true. I've never seen a menu change with the presidential election. Yeah, because they're scared of him. They're afraid of him being reelected. And Senate votes to slow closing of port offices. Well, you yeah, know, because first of all, I, I'm, I'm going to hate to tell the people that are complaining about this, okay, some of those morons on the left and the right are complaining about it. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, it's a money losing operation. Every post office in the world loses money. You know why they have post offices? Because there are things you can't do through email that can only be done through a post office. Isn't that something? You can't really deliver, um, you know, okay, I pay rent on uh, my stories and stuff. And you cannot do it through the mail, folks. It's got to be done. They want it done with the, you know, with a, with a money order. Well, you can get a money order at a bank, at a grocery store. You can't send the money order or a bank any other way but by mail. And CISPA cybersecurity bill gets veto threat from Obama. Oh, yeah, because, by, uh, because it's not Obama's bill. Obama's bill is the bill that gives him authority to shut down the Internet. The Republicans' bill, which is probably going to have more chance of getting through, basically uh, uh, orders the President of the United States to supply information to businesses about what the government's getting ready to do. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like that. He wants it where I am control. You know, and it, that will never happen, folks. And Indonesia suspends U.S. beef imports over mad cow disease. I know. You, okay, what happens is these people, they go... The farmers will basically, because they can't afford the high cost of feed, will cheap out and, and put stuff in the feed to, it, to basically um, enhance the amount of feed that they've got with vitamins and stuff that is basically bad. And they know it's bad. I mean, those farmers should be put in a jail cell and locked away forever. And judge refuses to dismiss a WikiLeaks case. Oh, yeah. They, they can't do this. Well, yes, they can do it. They, <laughs> first of all, he doesn't even need... Okay, um... The uh, police, the, the man is being tried by a military court. A civilian court has no authority until after the case has been tried. Mm -hmm. And more Fed officials see rate hike sooner than expected. Oh, well, yeah, because they're, um, the, the, that inflation that doesn't exist, that's why they're getting ready to rate the hikes for it in order to try to cool the inflation that doesn't exist. There's less than 2% inflation, folks. The, the, you know, the double the gas you're paying, mm -hmm. all of the double, you know, that extra dollar and a half you're paying for your milk, the extra buck for your eggs, that doesn't exist because we have no inflation in our country. Uh, and Apple crushes street targets and dispels iPhone fears. Um, it's totally impossible. Every analyst in the entire bloody universe said that they were not going to meet their figures, but you have to understand, Apple has a $120 million, billion dollar slush fund, and if Apple wants to say they made money and they dip into the other sl into the slush fund, as long as the government's concerned, it makes the stock market look like it's doing well when it's not. I mean, hey, folks, they re-advised last year backwards by over 1.3%, and the market is booming today. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. If all you can do is sit and spend your time correcting people's grammar on Facebook, you really don't belong on Facebook. Uh, this is not a
spring chicken. You know, it started off as a bad day when Old Cam wakes up with the website only had six viewers. Okay, maybe that was one website, but you know, it was a little bit low. And he goes to Facebook and his grammar gets corrected on Facebook. <laughs> oh, maybe that's not a laughing matter. Okay, it's a grumpy matter. But on a brighter side, we'll bring Old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today.